Slanted or razor blade div containers look cool and add more aesthetic appeal to websites. They're also really easy to do and, in different combinations, can create some stunning layouts. The slanted edges overlap other elements and you can build interesting shapes instead of the usual rectangles or squares. Here's how to do it using just CSS. In fact, this is all the code you need. A standard div container, a pseudo class, and three specific CSS properties transform origin, transform, and z index. Let's create the div first. Give it a position of relative, width of 100% so it fills the entire page, and a height of 400 pixels. Let's also give it a bright yellow background. That's all we need to do to get the basic div box. And that's 50% of our work already done. Now for the slanted or razor blade part. We start by creating a pseudo class with colon after. Give it a position of absolute and width and height of 100%. Keep its content property empty. Don't put any spaces between the single quotes. We'll inherit the background from the div so it appears seamless. Get the top, right, bottom and left properties to zero. Finally, add the transform origin and transform properties. Here's where the razor blade shape happens. Set the transform origin to top left and the transform to skew y 4 degrees. I'll explain this more in detail. And there's the final effect. We can change the tilt of the blade by adjusting the transform origin and transform properties. Let's learn how this effect works. You'll notice if we make the main div grey and more transparent that there are in fact two pieces coming together. The main div in grey and the slanted pseudo rectangle in red. Notice also the slanted pseudo rectangle is in front of the main div. We'll need to move it behind so that the contents of the main div can be seen. We move the pseudo red rectangle behind by giving its Z index a value of minus one. That tells the browser to stack the element behind the others. Notice our red pseudo class rectangle is taking its reference point from top right and skewing downwards along the Y axis at an angle of minus four degrees, that is counterclockwise. If we change the reference point to top left and leave the angle as it is, our red rectangle takes its reference point from top left and therefore skews upward beyond the window. So if we make the angle positive or clockwise from the top left reference point, the rectangle will now skew downwards. This is how we build the shapes of our razor blades. Let's go ahead and bring it all together and put some actual content in the div. We'll set the box sizing property of the main div to border box and give it a padding of 30 pixels. Let's make the background colors the same again. Add some colors like we normally would. And there we have our final result. The slanted div is even responsive and keeps its shape under varying screen sizes, desktop or mobile. Let's go ahead and add another slanted div to create some nice layouts. Copy and paste the original slanted div CSS, then adjust the transform origin and transform properties to reshape the second div.
you'll get some very cool negative spaces by placing the razor blade at the top. The slanted razor blade divs make your layouts more captivating and you can combine them in varying combinations of shapes to create your very own hybrid look. Best of all, they're easy to build. So go ahead, experiment and have fun. And please see the comments section for the code snippet and further explanations of these concepts. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. See you next time.